Did you know that fake news travels six times faster than real news? Yes, according to an MIT study, fake news travels about six times faster than the truth. Today we're breaking down what fake news is, how to spot it, and why it matters. What is fake news? Fake news can be broken down into two categories, misinformation and disinformation. Misinformation has no intent to deceive, like clickbaiting with sensational headlines, a satire or parody with exaggerated or humorous representation, or a newspaper hoax, which is accidental false information. Whereas disinformation has a specific intent to deceive. For example, manipulated images like deep fakes, falsified photos, or counterfeit websites. Items taken out of context like shortened citations or faulty statistics purely fictional biased claims. Both of these are considered fake news, and we will discuss this more. One such reason people fall for fake news is psychological factors, such as confirmation bias. We believe what supports our views. In 2013, a fake advertisement went viral, claiming that a new Apple software update made iPhones waterproof. The ad looked just like a real Apple promotion, tricking people into believing that their phones could survive being submerged in water. Some people even tested it out, only finding out that they ruined their phones. This is a great example of how fake news can spread quickly when it looks convincing and plays on what people want to believe. In this case, the hope that their expensive phone was now waterproof. It also shows why it's important to double check information before acting on it. A viral post once claimed that scientists had genetically modified strawberries to grow bright blue instead of red. The post included a highly edited image of blue strawberries, making it look real. People shared it excitedly, believing they had discovered a new kind of fruit. In reality, the color had been changed with Photoshop. This example plays on curiosity and amazement, emotions that make people want to share something cool before checking if it's actually true. In reality, no such fruit exists, and the images were simply color-corrected versions of regular strawberries. Social media echo chambers. These occur primarily when people are exposed to opinions, beliefs, or information that align with their own, often due to algorithm-driven content curation. Social media platforms amplify like-minded perspectives while filtering out opposing viewpoints, creating a bubble where dissenting ideas are rarely encountered. This also enhances confirmation bias, which is a cognitive bias where people seek out, interpret, and remember information in ways that confirm their pre-existing beliefs. Echo chambers reinforce confirmation bias by continually exposing users to content that aligns with what they already believe, making them more resistant to contradictory evidence or alternative perspectives. Echo chambers also enhance herded anarchy, which refers to a paradoxical situation where individuals believe they are acting independently, but are actually following a mass movement, often without critical thinking. On social media, large groups of users may collectively adopt and spread narratives without verifying their validity, creating an illusion of consensus. This phenomenon can drive misinformation, mob behavior, and reactionary trends, even when individuals believe they are thinking for themselves. How do these things work together? Echo chambers feed confirmation bias by limiting exposure to alternative viewpoints, making people more entrenched in their existing beliefs. Confirmation bias strengthens herded anarchy by making people more susceptible to groupthink, as they uncritically accept and share information that aligns with their worldview. Herded anarchy also perpetuates echo chambers, as people engage in mass movements that suppress dissenting voices, further isolating different ideological groups. Social media echo chambers create an environment where confirmation bias thrives, and confirmation bias makes individuals more prone to herded anarchy, which leads to a self-reinforcing cycle of misinformation, polarization, and reactionary online behavior. Clickbait refers to sensationalized, misleading, or exaggerated headlines designed to grab attention and drive traffic. While not all clickbait is considered fake news per se, it may play a major role in spreading misinformation. 
Clickbait can amplify fake news by spreading viral headlines and misinformation before it's fact-checked. Clickbait headlines give deepfakes and AI-generated news legitimacy. Clickbait thrives on emotionally charged, sensational headlines that trigger instant reactions. Since fake news travels faster than real news, as we mentioned at the beginning of this video, clickbait helps misinformation reach millions before corrections can catch up. For example, a video with a headline such as Epic Fail or Eat This Every Day can help to spread information before being debunked. Even if people don't actually watch a video from clickbait, many people will believe the clickbait claim just from the headline, even if it's later debunked. In recent years, the rise of artificial intelligence has made combating clickbait even more difficult. AI can analyze user behavior and generate clickbait headlines that target their biases, making them more likely to engage. For example, AI detects that a user is skeptical of vaccines and generates a headline, Doctors Stunned. A new study proves what they didn't want you to know. AI-driven social media bots mass share clickbait articles, making them appear more popular than they really are. This creates a false sense of authenticity encouraging users to click and making them more likely to believe. These tricks push fake news into more people's feeds than ever before. Some networks use AI to create entire fake news websites filled with AI-written, clickbait-heavy articles that mimic legitimate sources. Often, this is in an attempt to increase advertising revenue. Clickbait also targets herded anarchy and confirmation bias. People can click on and share stories that confirm their beliefs, regardless of the accuracy. Moreover, clickbait headlines reinforce confirmation bias because people tend to click on stories that confirm their beliefs, regardless of accuracy. Clickbait plays into this by framing information in a way that aligns with a specific audience's biases. For example, if someone already distrusts a politician, they are more likely to believe and share a clickbait article falsely accusing that politician of a crime. Clickbait also encourages herded anarchy, because sensationalized misinformation can fuel online mobs by making people react emotionally instead of critically. For example, a viral deepfake showing a fake scandal causes an uproar online, leading people to attack an innocent person without verifying the truth first. What's the end result from this? A vicious cycle of misinformation. AI creates deepfakes and fake news, Clickbait headlines make them go viral. Confirmation bias and herded anarchy ensure that people believe and share them. Social media algorithms amplify them due to engagement. Misinformation spreads faster and faster than fact-checking can keep up. And public trust in real news and reality itself becomes eroded. This cycle makes it increasingly difficult to distinguish the truth from fiction, which is why deepfakes, AI-generated news, and clickbait are so dangerous together. Deepfakes use artificial intelligence to create hyper-realistic fake videos, images, and audio that make it appear as though someone said or did something they never actually did. This significantly erodes trust in reality itself. Fake news traditionally relied on text-based information, which could be debunked through fact-checking. But with deepfakes, fabricated stories can be visually or audibly proven, making them far more convincing. For example, a deepfake of a world leader declaring war might cause panic in the real world before being debunked. Likewise, deepfakes aren't just spreading falsehoods, but they can also create plausible deniability. The integration of artificial intelligence into the news cycle has accelerated the spread of fake news, making it harder to fact check in real time. A sensational deepfake or AI generated article could go viral in minutes, while fact checking takes time. And by the time a fake story is debunked, millions may have seen it and believed it. A few final thoughts. Misinformation is becoming more sophisticated, widespread, and harder to detect. Which means it's on all of us to be vigilant. That's why it's essential that one fact checks effectively. First, verify sources. Check if multiple trusted outlets have reported the same story. Second, check for deepfake signs. Look for inconsistencies in lighting, blinking, or unnatural speech patterns. Use fact-checking sites, 
Trusted resources like Snopes, factcheck.org, or Reuters Fact Check. Pause before sharing. If a story triggers an extreme emotional reaction, it might be designed to manipulate you. Be skeptical of clickbait. Headlines that are designed to shock or outrage are very often misleading. Indeed, fact checking is our best defense against misinformation. Remember, the truth isn't always what gets the most clicks. Hope this video was helpful. For additional information on fake news, please contact the library. Thanks.